Designers in the branding world are slowly coming around to the core principles of logo design. Logos that can be reproduced in solid black or any other solid color are increasing. Let's talk about it. Flat color rules. So many companies that had either multicolored logos or logos that required gradients or halftone screens have realized that there are just too many situations where their identities did not reproduce properly or clearly or without extra expense. From vehicles where printed vinyl doesn't last as long to stationery which is often printed on smaller presses to the separate issues of basic clarity. Many companies have changed their logos to work in one flat color, which means, of course, that they could work in solid black as well. With many of these examples, issues other than color are also addressed to good effect. It might seem counterintuitive to the inexperienced, but a single flat color is inherently clearer than any multicolored variation. Number one. BT traded its multicolored logo for a rather boring identity instead, but at least this one will be clear and easy to reproduce consistently. Number two, DC Comics' new logo is also simpler, but this one has more mass than BT's. Number three, Salesforce's old logo subordinated the signature inside a soft cloud shape with half of their signature type being in low contrast. In addition to stronger type, the logo in solid color will now be easier to reproduce. In the future, will they reduce the cloud shape to a separate logo and make their signature black? That would be a further improvement, we will see. Number four, the old MIT Media Lab logo looks like it was designed more by an engineer than a designer. The new logo is solid, but the monogram could use some color. Number five, by omitting the drop shadow type and the red field, Netflix gained a stronger and larger word mark. Number six, ROM's new logo can now be used in any color with sufficient contrast. Number seven, Hootsuite gained clarity and impact by going with a flat color logo, and they also fixed their signature contrast issue. Number eight, Taco Bell's new logo has much better contrast and is easier to recognize. Number nine, Verizon removed its red Z from the middle of their word mark and went with a smaller checkmark logo at the end of their signature. Number 10, Southwest Airlines got rid of their airplane illustration, which should never have been used as a logo, with a tidy heart logo. They can improve it further by removing the light gray halo around the logo, or better yet, just use the heart in one color. Number 11, MailChimp's single color logo is much easier to see and recognize than its former multicolored version. Number 12, Lowe's updated logo omitted the red border and darkened the blue to make it more effective. 13, Mack Truck's chrome hood ornament logo might have seemed cool but the new solid color logo is much clearer. Number 14, Axway may have been trying to look like Xerox's 2008 logo. It didn't work any better than Xerox's logo did. Axway's new logo and single color signature are more solid. 15, even though Compound is an online business where some might suppose that the rules of one color logos don't apply, they saw that their multicolored logo looked weak and changed it to a single solid color for the better. Number 16. As with Compound, Formstack, another online business, sees that a single color logo is more effective. 17. Flipboard, an online news aggregator, gave up its logo with two pink tints. By simply making the logo flat red and white, it is greatly improved. 18. Intuit Mint is the third online business to conform to the principle that single color logos are stronger than multicolored logos. 19. Even simple outlining, which might have been thought to improve contrast, is better removed. 
Number 20. Yet another online business finds greater clarity in a single color logo and a signature in a single weight. This last example got rid of its five color logo and replaced it with a clean single color logo as well as type with more mass. Here we've had 21 samples to show you that people are slowly figuring out that in spite of the attraction of multiple colors, single color logos are inherently stronger. For more information, go to logodesigntheory.com. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and share this with anyone who needs to know more about logo design.